Hey guys, so I've just gone out and bought a new smartphone for 2016. This is the Xperia X. Sony's uh, like a mid-range to high-end handset for 2016. Uh, and uh, it's not a cheap device. This is like uh, 700 euro uh, that I have just plonked down for this. So, uh, you know, there is going to be the Xperia X performance as well coming very soon. Uh, which you may want to wait for but this one definitely looks quite interesting you can see it's got a new box design here uh, and also uh, it should be a more streamlined design so uh, let's get it open and see you know what uh, it's all about here I think we don't need to uh, rip anything open so we can just pull that to the side and uh, we can just get this box open Ooh, there we go uh, so we have gone for a more conservative colour here, you can see uh, compared to last time, uh, which is nice. And this uh, is coming in, I think, 5 inches, actually. So very uh, kind of pocketable, more pocketable possibly than the Xperia Z family. We will have to check it out. certainly feels nice and well built. Uh, so the box is also quite interesting compared to how uh, Sony usually has it which is very kind of boring uh, but nevertheless you can see they put some colour here on the box and you get your standard books and stuff nobody reads a charging plug and a charging cable but no earphones wow you know, that's uh, very cheap and miserable, if you ask me, Sony. Uh, you, you would like some high-res earphones. I think these new phones do support that. Uh, nevertheless, you know, it is 2016, and most smartphone manufacturers are struggling. So they have to make, you know, cuts here and there at the end of the day. Uh, so we can just have a look at the uh, device here. Let's just uh, peel this off. Wow, that looks nice and uniform. Oh yes, that is nice. So uh, this is uh, very nice actually. Very conservative and business-like, you know. You don't get any flash from Sony. This is typical omnibalance kind of design here. Uh, which is very nice and it has like uh, like a shiny area here I don't think we had that on the Z5 kind of device uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Xperia M5 actually in terms of the actual dimensions obviously it's a little bit more grey though uh, we have a little bit of plastic here on the front which is the NFC sticker uh, you can see we do have a port at the bottom, Sony sticking with traditional charging here. And the uh, headphone jack at the top. You're also getting a expandability port here, I'm guessing for the, the uh, stuff that you want to put in, which is nice. Supports up to 2 terabyte as well. So very uh, conservative and uh, sleek, you know, sassy, as I'd like to call it. Uh, I think we still have the fingerprint scanner, but I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. But they have retained as well the camera shutter button, which is good. Uh, but overall, you know, it has a really nice feel in the hand. You know, it's light, it's thin. What more do you need? Uh, so let's just power it up here and see how it looks. So we have a nice new uh, power up here which is nice. I should stop saying nice. I've got an idea for a drinking game. Every time I say nice have a drink, you'll soon be drunk. Is this charger quick charger? It doesn't uh, 
seem to say. I think Sony definitely needs to, you know, improve its accessories because these aren't cheap, these phones. And Xiaomi gives you a lot when it comes to, you know, the uh, accessories. So I'm just going to quickly set this up so as not to bore you. And I'll just zoom in a little bit more so you can see the setup here. So you can see we're getting all the Wi-Fi support, which is what you would expect. Keyboard feels quite nice. I think we're getting front facing speakers as well. Yes, I do have a lot of devices, but I'm not putting them in here. And we'll skip this, we'll skip that. We will skip it. We will go and we'll say no thank you. And we'll skip, 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 skip. So we have Xperia services here, which is nice. I'm just going to say not now. Skip. Wow, look at that. That is a nice picture. Rainbow coming from your phone. Oh, yes. So we do have Xperia X here in the house with a new kind of interface, it seems. Nice. Circular design. That is nice. And it doesn't seem to be any of that annoying lag that we got with the... Uh, the you know Z5 when we first got that it was very laggy. Let's see, I think we're running uh, Snapdragon 650 here. Snapdragon 650, uh, three gigs of RAM, and uh, I'm not sure the internal storage. Probably 32, because Sony doesn't skimp there. But really enjoying this uh, fluidity here. It feels, you know, flagship level in terms of the, you know, opening up. I mean, seriously, can you can you notice a difference here? I think it's because of that Cortex A72 architecture. I think very nice and snappy. New icons for the uh, messaging as well. You can see that. So Sony's actually made an effort here with the interface, making it look, you know, different. To me, that's worth commendation in itself. If only they could have got the price to about 500 euro, then that would have appealed to more people because it is competing with, you know, G5 S7 level here in terms of the price. You could get S7 for the same price. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, I'm, I'm very, uh, it, it brings some excitement here to me because uh, this uh, this looks actually like something different. Sony's actually trying something different here, which is nice. Let's have a look at the uh, camera. So I think uh, we're getting the same, uh, I think it's a 23 megapixel camera. Uh, with predictive autofocus, meaning that if you take a shot of someone, it should predict where they're going to go and then focus on them quite quick. So maybe we can do this with my hand. I don't know. So yeah, maybe I need to go out and about with the camera to you know check that out. But uh, you see here, you do get uh, you know nice. Uh, kind of features here like you do expect. I don't think we get 4K though, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look at taking the shot, how fast it is. One of my bugbears with Sony is the, the speed of the camera, which looks, uh, wow. Hang on. That is fantastic. So it takes a lot faster, wow. That is nice. Sony, you finally got it right. 
and it, and it goes into the uh, gallery app straight away. There's none of that annoying lag that we had before. Well done. Wow. I don't think we have burst shot though, which they could add, I definitely think. But you can see that is fast and that is nice. That is exactly what I want to see from Sony. And you know, if it's this fast with the uh, Xperia X, just imagine how fast it's going to be with the the performance. You know, that is really worth looking forward to. Uh, so, just before we go, uh, I know this video is going on a bit long, but I uh, just want to have a look quickly here at the like themes, etc. So you can see we do get some nice themes, uh, which is nice. So you can put different things on here. Wow, that's nice. So you can see, you know, it is a pricey phone, but you are getting at the end of the day like flagship level kind of uh, features here, different, you know, wallpapers, lots of them here. Sony seems to have made a, a good effort with this. Uh, so yeah, you know, I'll definitely be checking this out uh, in a little bit more detail, you know, we're comparing against how it stacks up with some other handsets let me know what you want to see and uh, we'll certainly check it out hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one cheers